먼저 미국 연방 항공국의 상업 비행 인증을 가장 먼저 획득한 글로벌 톰 메이커 조비 에이비에이션의 제품 책임자인 에릭 엘린슨께서 미국 UAM 개발 단계와 상용화 플랜에 대해서 발표를 해 주신다고 합니다. Now first of all, allow me to introduce our first speaker, Mr. Eric Ellison from Head of Product Joby Aviation. Let's give him a big round of applause. 네, 큰 박수 부탁드리겠습니다. So, uh, I just want to say first of all, thank you to the organizers of this of this show for us. I know how much work it is to put on a big event, and I think this is pretty spectacular. You guys, you all have done a fantastic job, and it's a real honor to be here talking to you today. Um, this is actually a map of Seoul. Uh, last night, I flew in to, uh, to Incheon, which is uh, actually, we're about here, and I flew into Incheon, which is over here. And the trip, the drive from Incheon into Seoul last night, is about 60 kilometers, and it took me 1.4 hours, which is a really long time. And it just emphasized to me this question of what do we care about? How do we think about the things that really matter to us? And one of the major things that matters is time. As the world has come back together after COVID, this has become another common sight that we saw so often prior to COVID. Traffic, congestion, spending so much time stuck in traffic on a daily basis. Why do we do it? Well, we have to. There's no alternative. In San Francisco, it's estimated that commuters spend around 360 million hours wasted per year. If you look at just the top 10 cities in the United States, that actually goes to 4.5 billion hours wasted on an annual basis. This is kind of crazy. And you can't just build your way out of it because in the US alone, it costs $250 million per mile of highway to add more roads. We can't build our way out. And that doesn't even take into account the environmental costs. 29% of global CO2 emissions come from the transportation sector. We have to do better. So we believe that we can take cues, as the vice mayor actually mentioned in his opening remarks, from the way cities themselves have developed. They've turned from two-dimensional environments that we live in into three-dimensional environments. And that's how cities have become the locus of world economic development that drives growth around the world. We believe that we have to take transportation from two dimensions into three dimensions as well. So instead of it taking 1.4 hours, to get from Incheon to the Shilla, why can't it take 15 minutes if we move into the third dimension? But they're not the right machine for the mission. So we believe that the mission is actually one of multimodality. So when Henry Ford said that um, someday the motor car is going to meet the airplane, he didn't know it, but technology the technology platforms that can weave ground transportation with air transportation to get you from where you are to where you want to be in a seamless multimodal journey is actually how those two things come together. So this, we think, is the way that three-dimensional mobility becomes real. So what do you have to have in terms of the aircraft in order to make this work? So it's important to have enough seats that you can actually fit people in it to, batch, to match people in and drive the economics. You have to have enough range to meet the, the vast majority of routes that people actually want to fly. You have to have speed. It's actually really important to fly fast enough that you can save people time on enough trips that you can actually have the demand that's sufficient to fuel this type of transportation. And we think it has to be quiet. So how are we going to do this? What are we going to bring together? So we have actually built an enormous, a, a very in incredible list of partners to actually make this mission possible, to be able to source that demand, to actually fuel this type of a multimodal service. And we've announced a partnership here in Korea with SK Telecom, one of the great companies here in Korea. I want to talk a little bit about that, a little more about that for a moment. One of the things that we can bring to bear from a partnership with SK Telecom is data. So this is an example of a day's worth of movement data in the entire country of Korea. Uh, the blue is origins, white is destinations. It's showing the pulse of people leaving where they're starting from, arriving someplace and going home back and forth on a daily basis. We can look at um, more closely at just 
the soul region, the greater soul region, and see this throbbing life of people moving around. Well, this data can fuel the way we think about actually building out this type of a service. We can actually then look at the data and understand where are their origins and destinations of long-range trips or long-duration trips, which are the ones that are more amenable to this type of transportation. And from this data-driven approach, we can actually then site skyports in the best locations in the way, the, the highest impact, so that the capital that we spend to actually create Skyports goes the furthest, and we're fueling this by data. So that's the mission. That's how we want to attack that mission to accomplish it, but we need the machine that actually makes this possible. So this is what we've matured into. This is the aircraft that we are now working through the certification process with the FAA and going to bring to market. So it's a very similar to those older, uh, older aircraft that we built. It's six rotors um, that allow the aircraft to take off vertically like a helicopter, and then very quickly um, and efficiently transition into forward flight and fly like an airplane. So the six rotors tilt down um, and then act as propellers to drive the aircraft through the air amazingly quietly. And then to, to land, this process simply reverses. The, the, the propellers tilt back up, and then the aircraft lands like a helicopter. This is the aircraft, this is the machine that will make 3D transportation a reality. I wanna talk a little bit more about this question of quietness. So we've done a lot of work on this. Actually, this is one of the primary uh, re technologies that we researched and developed over the last 10 to 12 years. This is not just something that comes for free from making an aircraft electric. You have to shape the rotors correctly. You have to design the aerodynamics. You have to design the motors, the entire powertrain in such a way to lead to low noise. So this is an example video. As you can see a longer version of this on YouTube, on our YouTube channel, um, that I'm going to play, and hopefully the noise works. Here we go. This is a calibrated test that we did with five different conventional aircraft and one of our aircraft to try to give an example of just how different this sounds when an aircraft like this is flying over. As you can see, it sounds nothing like anything you're used to if you have an instinct of what a small aircraft sounds like as it's flying over. And that's what makes this so different. And this is what allows us to have an acoustic footprint that's dramatically different than a helicopter. We know that what people want is to be able to spend more time, what I started out with, how do we value our time? I want to spend more time with my daughter, I want to spend more time with my wife and my son on a regular basis. So Joby's mission is to enable this, to make this possible. What we want to do is help the world to connect faster and more easily with the people and places that matter most to them, because that's what matters. We're looking forward to, uh, to working with many of our partners, bringing that form of mobility here to Korea. Thank you for your time today. <웃음> 네, 조비 에이비에이션의 어, 탑 메이커, 글로벌 탑 메이커죠. 에릭 앨리슨, 헤로 프로덕트님께 여러분 다시 한번큰 박수 부탁드리겠습니다.